towards one. Very good evening to you and hello from Lords and welcome to what should have been the highlights of the Nat West final between Warwickshire and Gloucestershire. Should have been, but in fact the game didn't take place because of heavy rain first thing in the morning and then persistent bad lights and drizzle throughout the day. And it wasn't until much, much later in the afternoon that the umpires finally decided to put everybody out of their misery, say no play was possible and we'll all come back tomorrow and uh, try again. So no action from Lords from today to bring you. Instead, what we're going to do is have a look at the highlights of the two semi-finals in this year's NatWest Trophy, starting with the game from Edgbaston between Warwickshire and Hampshire. Now, let's look at the two teams to start with. Warwickshire pretty much at full strength. They had Alan Donald in there to make life a misery for the Hampshire batsman. But Hampshire had a real problem in as much as Shane Warne, their Australian overseas player, wasn't available for this game. He was actually back on international duty with Australia in Melbourne. Well, Hampshire won the toss. Robin Smith put Warwickshire into bat. And let's look at the highlights of their innings. Terrific shot through the offside. Waited for the ball, punched it through. Well protected offside field. Second slip's been moved. John Stevenson on his own there at first slip. Great deliberations about the field, and it's second slip that's been removed and put on the drive offside. That's the place to play those shots straight back down the ground. down the ground again. Uh, that's the easiest place to get boundaries, straight back past the bowler. Oh, that was really hit hard. There is a man at Gully, but I'm quite sure he's quite happy it didn't come directly to him. It's been a good start by the Hampshire bowlers. They bowled pretty tight the first few overs, but this is really short and wide. Henrik Singh allowed the room to free the arms. Gives it the full treatment. That's another good shot. This really is a good cricket shot. So just stood tall on the back foot. It's not an easy shot to play, just stands up. Lovely timing, well placed behind uh, point. There's not a lot wrong with the ball, it's not that wide, it's not that short. It's just a really good cricket shot. Ah, Big shout. Jeremy Lloyd is not interested. people look pretty depressed and one of the problems Mikey about uh, keepers standing up if there is a very faint deflection normally the umpire can see it if the keeper stood well back but standing up very hard to see but, uh, you make your own mind up there I can't tell one way or the other and he's uh, pretty adamant it wasn't out well Demi Mascarena seemed quite convinced, wasn't even interested in looking behind him until he saw the batsman wasn't walking. Big shout again, but that's missing. End of a pretty good over though from <laughs> Masquerinas. One run coming from it, two big shouts, one possibly a wicket. Just out of reach. 
that will give Warwick Journal the ball.